It was the best of flights. It was the worst of flights. So VidCon was really hard. I beat up my feet really bad because I had ill-fitting shoes. But I was like, I, I need to treat myself. Like I need to do something nice for me on the flight home. Otherwise I'm gonna be completely exhausted, get home and be grumpy and mean to my daughter. And that's no good because she hadn't seen me in a week. So I sprung for a first class upgrade for my flight home. I found it a little weird because when I was actually signing up for the first class upgrade online, the second flight, because I had a connecting flight out of Dallas, the second flight was kind of grayed out in that way that you can't select anything online. So I didn't know if I had to pay for that particular upgrade or not or whatever, doesn't matter. So I get on the first flight and it's amazing. They bring you little hot nuts, context is everything. They bring you real food, which is awesome. There was like cheese enchiladas. They brought me a couple of drinks. The freaking seat laid all the way flat so I could sleep. I got footage of all this, but of course me being an idiot, as soon as I got home from VidCon, thought I had transferred all the files to my computer, didn't actually transfer the freaking files. The point is, the flight was freaking awesome. It was the best flight I've ever had, of course, because first class is awesome. So I get off the first class flight, feeling refreshed for the first time in my entire life after flying somewhere, and go to the next flight's gate. And I'm like, hey, I bought a first class upgrade. I something was weird about the second flight. Is there a first class available? And she said, do you want it complimentary? And I said, well, if, of course, if it's available. And she said, well, I'll just take a note. That was the end of the conversation. It definitely didn't appear that she wanted it to be messed with. There was no one else around. There was no reason for her to be rude to me. She could have been very nice to me, but she was not. So I kind of brushed it off. I was like, oh, she's maybe just having a bad day. I was having a great day, so I didn't care. So we start boarding the plane. I'm one of the first people to board other than the first class, of course. And they stop me. And they say, you have to check that bag, which is the exact same bag that I had flown out to LA with, packed with the exact same stuff, minus a pair of shoes, packed in the exact same way. I check hundreds of times to make sure that the carry-on baggage that I'm taking is the size and uh, within the size limits of the airline. They said it wasn't. They had some bullshit little carry-on bag checker size thing right there, and I said, there's four thousand dollars worth of equipment because i had my computer and some of my camera equipment and just like a bunch of stuff in my bag that couldn't get wet it was raining outside couldn't get wet i said look i really want to carry this on like how do we make that happen how do i make it onto the plane with this dude was just really rude to me he said you just gotta check it i got furious it's the most mad i've been in a long time and i started ranting at them they of course don't uh care because people gate check bags all the time and that's just kind of their policy so they didn't really give a shit. But I cared because there's $4,000 worth of equipment in the bag and there's no protection for consumers. I was furious at like everybody so I'm just sitting on Twitter. I buy my GoGo in-flight internet as soon as we get to cruising speed and I'm just furiously tweeting on my, my iPad just mad as hell. Uh, some people tweet you back and say like what the hell's the big deal? People gate check bags all the time which is true. Eventually after I got some distance between myself and the flight, I realized that it's true. People gate check stuff all the time. What has continued to bother me is that there's absolutely no protection for people who gate check bags. If you check a bag at the airline, you can buy this sort of insurance stuff that covers like $2,000 worth of crap. I fly with a lot of electronic equipment and I know people that have had guitars broken, that have had computers broken. Stuff just gets broken when you check bags, which is why I only travel by not checking bags. I never check bags. I hate checking bags. You can't buy insurance right there at the gate. They just take your shit and they put it on the plane somewhere and they, who knows what can happen to it. Thankfully for me, the only thing that was broken was a set of headphones that were like 20 bucks that were in like one of the top little pockets in my bag. And so something must have crushed it and they, they were destroyed. It was 20 bucks. I don't really care that much about that, but I do care that the principle of the thing is infuriating. There's absolutely no protection for anybody that gets their shit taken at the, at the gate. And that is just wrong to me. And I don't know what to do next. I've called customer service. I went to the customer service desk immediately getting off the flight. They basically said, yeah, it happens to everybody. Sorry, F you. Anyway, this isn't the first time I've had travel woes, although it's the first time I've been this mad about it. The first time I had any kind of travel woes was in 2009, going to Northwest YouTube Gathering. You can watch the video here. But again, it, the, most of that was my fault, so I wasn't very upset at that time. But this one, definitely not my fault. I did everything I could do to prevent this kind of situation. Let me know what your travel woes have been. Let me know what's the best experience you've ever had. What's the worst experience you've ever had? Let me know in the comments or video response, and I will see you guys probably next week. Probably. Yay, videos.